This is Filter Kapi and Amma, Episode 1, Hope. Have you ever watched a TV show or a movie and then a scene comes on and you are completely connected with it? You are in the moment feeling every single emotion that the character is feeling in there. You have goosebumps and you're in that sense of clarity with those words. To me, that moment happened when I was watching Avatar, The Last Airbender, where Uncle Iroh and Zuko are sitting by the stream, where Zuko has failed again and again, where he's in complete and total dismay. In that moment, Uncle Iroh says something to him that resonates even today with me. Even today, I have goosebumps when I watch that episode. So in Uncle Iroh's words, you must never give in to despair. Allow yourself to slip down that road and you surrender to your lowest instincts. You give yourself hope. In the darkest of times, that is the meaning of inner strength. And that's how I knew that I had inner strength. I know how it feels to be on that road. Actually, I know how it feels to be on that road every single morning. Because it's difficult to decide to get out of bed. I suffer from clinical depression and anxiety. And that makes the easiest of tasks like getting out of bed difficult. And Uncle Iroh is so right, you know, he's spot on about hope when he says that you have to give it to yourself. Nobody else can give it to you. People are there for you. They can support you. They can say all the right words and it still wouldn't matter if you can't give yourself hope. If you can't let yourself be driven by that hope. But I realized something very important through my battle with depression. It is not the big achievements where I found hope. It's not something that I would post on Instagram or Facebook and get that rush of dopamine in my brain. It, it wasn't that. It was in the little things. It was in the things that I did normally. I'd get up and I'd brush my teeth. I found hope in that because that way it meant I'm ready for the day. I won't spend it in bed. That there is still hope left for me. In my personal experience, I found hope in the most unlikely places. In extreme motions of anxiousness. Every time I pick up a brush and I paint, I could feel the anxiety moving away from me. Physically. It's intangible, but I could feel it. And that's what I want to, I guess, convey to people out there. Find hope in little things. Embrace it. Let it be your inner strength. Build on it. Slowly and gradually. And then you'll see the beauty that is life. You allow yourself to be in the day. Have trackers. I personally have a habit tracker wherein I hold myself accountable for every single action that I do, which is important for me, like doing Sudoku every day or walking 5,000 steps every day. And I'm not saying that I do it every single day, but I have a tracker and I do see it. That's the game. That's the catch here, that you do it step by step, slowly and gradually. And then one day you're better. 
and I have hope for myself that I'll be better and the day will be possible. So I guess I'm going to leave everyone with this thought. Today is possible. And try to seek hope today. Try to seek it fiercely. Thank you.